The MDC is implementing a series of innovative initiatives to improve the region's sewer system as part of the Clean Water Project, the first phase of which was approved by voters in MDC member towns in 2006. Construction of new sewers, increased storage capacity, and expansion of the Hartford Wastewater Treatment Plant are all part of this long-term solution, which will significantly reduce combined and sanitary sewer overflows and improve water quality in our rivers and streams. Another important component of the Clean Water Project involves extending the life of the MDC's existing sewer infrastructure wherever possible through the use of state-of-the-art pipelining technology. Combined with MDC's comprehensive cleaning and maintenance program, pipelining can increase the life of existing sewer lines by more than 50 years. Here's how it works. CIPP is a pipe within a pipe, installed without digging. Resin saturated, coated felt tubing is inverted or pulled into the existing pipe. Hot water or steam is then circulated throughout the tubing, curing the resin and forming a tight-fitting, jointless, corrosion-resistant pipe within a pipe. Service laterals are then restored using a robotically controlled cutting device. Finally, the rehabilitated pipe is fully inspected by closed circuit TV. MDC's Chief Operating Officer Scott Jellison explains why pipelining is a good solution for many neighborhoods. We can line a pipe for approximately $75 to $150 per lineal foot, depending on the size of the pipe. Compare that with digging, we're comparing $250 to $400 a lineal foot. So the, it's double, in most cases double, and in some cases triple the price to excavate the street. So the cost benefit is tremendous. Never mind the, the impact to the surroundings, the neighborhoods and the businesses. It's a tremendous benefit by not having to excavate that street. Pipelining rehabilitation projects are underway in the towns of Newington, Rocky Hill, Weathersfield, West Hartford and Windsor and may be coming to your street in the near future. The process begins with a notification letter to MDC customers in the affected areas one week prior to the start of the project, letting them know how the pipelining process works and what to expect during installation. Customers are notified twice more at 72 and 24 hours prior to the start of the project. It is important that customers understand their role in the successful completion of the project. First, each sewer line must be cleaned and inspected. This involves flushing the sanitary sewers with high pressure water. To reduce the likelihood of odors occurring in the home during the lining operation, customers are asked to fill the trap on all drains with water and put the lid down on all toilet seats. Customers with a sump pump connected to the sewer are asked to unplug the pump or disconnect the hose and redirect it to drain on their lawn, driveway, or other drainage area. As a reminder, connections of sump pumps to sewer lines are prohibited by MDC ordinance and should be discontinued. Because the sewers will be temporarily blocked off during the lining period, a process that typically takes 8 to 12 hours, customers are also asked to limit their use of water during this time. Normal toilet use and hand washing are acceptable, but high volume usage such as doing the laundry, showering, or using the dishwasher should be avoided to prevent sewage from backing up into the home or basement. Customers will be notified as soon as they can resume normal water usage. After the work is completed, MDC inspectors will verify that the project was performed according to specifications. It is important to note that all contractors and inspection personnel will wear uniforms and carry official identification badges. Vehicles will also be prominently marked with the MDC logo. Customers with questions or concerns can contact the MDC's 24-hour command center at 860-278-7850, extension 3600. The MDC was fantastic. Uh, in some of the letters that they wrote us, the communication before they started, they gave us advance notice as to 
all the possible things that, that could have happened. None of them happened on the street. Uh, you know, there was one that we would get a, a flashback or something like that, or the water would be uh, disrupted for a few hours. Well, I didn't notice any of that. The MDC is taking a proactive approach to ensure that the sewer lines function at maximum efficiency through preventative maintenance initiatives. MDC's Capacity Management Operation and Maintenance Program, better known as CMOM, has enabled us to step up our cleaning and inspection schedule to prevent small problems from turning into larger ones. We've tripled our capacity, cleaning over 585 miles of pipe every year, the equivalent of driving from Hartford to Cleveland. The, the CMOM requirements are, are that we clean our entire system 1,200 miles of sewer every five years. With our new trucks and with our new procedures that we've just mentioned, we're actually planning to clean the system every two and a half years or less. These new trucks and the new processes, we used to clean with one truck about 40,000 lineal feet per month. We're doubling that to 80,000. So we've actually far exceeded our CMOM mandates, uh, which is part of the Clean Water Project, uh, to actually clean the system every five years. Pipelining and CMOM are long-term programs with long-term benefits to the region. We are already seeing the difference. Even during wet weather periods, we have significantly reduced SSOs and CSOs into our rivers and streams since these initiatives began. For more information, please visit www.vmdc.com or call 860-278-7850, extension 3600.